want to see something cool? Whatever. All right, I'm back. So I've conducted a lot of research to find you guys the top three editing softwares without a watermark. Can you believe it? So the first one is DaVinci Resolve. If you've been in the editing scene for some time now, you'll know what DaVinci Resolve is. It's a very cool software, but if you're a complete beginner looking to become a YouTuber, or if you just want to torture yourself editing all night, all you need to know is DaVinci Resolve is the powerhouse of free editing software. But that does not mean it's easy to use, because in the end, it did make me a paranoid schizophrenic. So let's go look at some of the cool stuff you can do in it. The first cool thing you can do is color grading. DaVinci Resolve has one of the best color gradings in my opinion and a lot of people's opinions. But honestly, it's very complicated so it'll take a lot of time to get used to. The next cool thing DaVinci Resolve has is built-in transitions. The built-in transitions are pretty good, but they're not the best. They're still better than Premiere Pro if you know what Premiere Pro is, but honestly, it's better just to make your own transitions. Um, DaVinci has a node editor. I'm not 100% sure what it allows you to do, but all I know it allows you to have like 3D, 2D, things add materials textures lights colors blurs i'm assuming it's like kind of your own visual effects compositor um next up davinci resolve has an audio mixer it's pretty lackluster in my opinion next up it has keyframes keyframes are pretty important so you can actually animate stuff like text flying up or something finally davinci resolve exports pretty quickly and doesn't crash very often so um here's my final thoughts on davinci resolve it is a work of art I'll be honest. I would be using DaVinci Resolve if I didn't have Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is paid by the way, but you need a strong computer to run it. If you have any computer with hardware that's older than 10 years old, it'll probably have an anorexic Caesar trying to run it. Um, the good thing about DaVinci Resolve, it is supported on every PC platform, so like Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac. And honestly, I would recommend this to anybody looking to become a YouTuber to edit for long term and not spend any money on editing software. This is for you. But let's say you just want to edit a quick video, the next one is for you. So number two, this is Shotcut. So let's say you're down bad, right? And all you want to do is make a simple edit, like adding clips together or photos together, like you're a school teacher or you're actually making a project for school. This is for you. Basically, Shotcut is as shallow as a four-year-old's thoughts. The features are really simple, like cutting clips, separating audio from video, and basic effects like text. I'm not even sure if you can animate the text. So you can run Shotcut on pretty much anything. You can even use it on mobile. And if you're looking to do some basic video editing, use Shotcut. If you're looking to become like a big YouTuber, I honestly don't recommend it because it's very shallow and I would honestly would recommend DaVinci Resolve if you want to become a YouTuber. Alright, next up is CapCut. So I used to hate CapCut, but then I actually started trying it out and it's kind of like After Effects, but free so you don't have to sell your liver for it. Basically CapCut is an amazing animator, right? It has presets and the only thing that separates it from After Effects is it doesn't have a VFX compositor for now and you can't really go that custom with the animations but you can still make fire edits. Let me actually show you something I made. pretty cool right a cool thing you can actually do with CapCut is let's say you make exe videos like over edited videos i used to make those and adding like velocity edits kind of make the video a lot better and kind of fire so you can go into CapCut, learn how to make a simple velocity edit and then like match it with the music you're going to use and then do that in CapCut, and then export it to like davinci resolve or shotcut or something like that and then you can add the the meme sounds and whatever else you're going to add to the video. The thing I love about CapCut is it's a little hard to get used to, but that also means the skill gap is very high. I'll be honest, if you spend a few days using it, you can start getting the hang of it like pretty quickly and then you can just keep getting better every day if you use it every day. And you honestly just have like a lot of potential using it. And if you're wondering, CapCut has a lot of presets. It can go all the way from like making your video look pixelated to like laser beams coming out of your eye stuff so it's honestly has everything that you could want um and it's on pc mac and windows and mobile i don't really think anybody uses linux so it's pretty much on any platform except for linux so to finish up i would like to say that you can find tutorials on youtube for every software i mentioned in this video but with CapCut, you're gonna have to deal with roblox kids because there's a lot of roblox kids that use CapCut, and most of the tutorials are going to be with Roblox, so if you find that crunchy, then 
it's going to be a little struggle for you. And finally, please say bottle cap in the comment section below.